welcome to another Plum Crazy Adventure. We're not in Pennsylvania. Yeah, no, definitely not in Pennsylvania anymore. <laughs> yeah. We are staying at the Residence Inn by Marriott here in Cape Canaveral. It's super excited to be doing so and I uh, can't wait to show you this fantastic hotel. I have to say, one of the easiest hotels I've ever been to, like just to get to. Yeah, yeah. So simple. Coming right off of 528, coming across. Uh, we're just, I mean, we're just like steps away from the actual Port Canaveral. I mean, I'm yeah. standing here in the parking lot and I'm looking over and I can see the tops of the cruise ships right now as we're recording this. So, I, um, very exciting. This is a great, uh, great location. We've already been inside uh, and checked out a few things. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> wow, is it a beautiful place. So, I guess without further ado, let's stop talking about it. Let's get in here and let's show you guys what this place looks like. Just to give you an idea of how close the residence in Marriott is to the terminals, literally right there is for the terminal one through three, exit B, so that, or exit 54B. So there is definitely right there, you're at the cruise port. So you just pull in right here at the residence in Marriott, you can see right there, and then it is just a short little driveway right on in and you get to go right into the main portico. So very simple, very easy to get in and out of. Can't recommend this one enough for convenience. It is definitely one of the closest. Um, it's only one other that's closer and it's a little bit harder to get into. So in that regard, this one's actually better uh, to be able to get right into um, right from the uh, port and cruise terminals. And it can't get any better than this. It is about 11.30 in the morning. Yes, we are here way earlier than check-in. Uh, we were planning on watching a launch, but instead we get to have rainbows. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's gorgeous. It is something you don't get to see a lot of um, up around Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Uh, down in here, you'll see this quite often, but yeah, off to the left of us, there's a humongous thunderstorm cloud which is preventing the launch from going off today at 12.30. So um, unfortunately it's been scrubbed for today and it's gonna be moved to tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get some footage of that and be able to show you guys that tomorrow. Yeah, and if you actually look uh, at the Country Inn and Suites, which is the neighbor hotel, just off to the side of that is actually one of the cruise ships. That would be the Norwegian Cruise Line Getaway. So that is how close we are to the cruise ships there at the cruise port. Right here is the main portico area for you to be able to come in, park underneath that gorgeous portico in case it's raining, which it's going to be doing to us very shortly. Get yourself unloaded and checked in, and then you can find your parking area. So definitely really like how this is set up. Again, super easy to get to, but you guys don't care about that. Let's get into the lobby. All right, time to go in. Absolutely love that they have the Artemis right here and a nod to the fact that we are on the Space Coast. Yes, I'm excited about that. <laughs> right on in here. Lovely front desk area. But the first thing you got to do when you get here is take a selfie with Elroy. Like most Marriott hotels, there is a small market. Pick up some chips and drinks, alcoholic and otherwise, as well as a few toiletries if you forgot anything. And, oops, got found some wine. A Cabernet Sauvignon. There you go. So definitely a place to check out if you're interested or just need a late night snack and don't want to go out. Right off of the check-in area, as you can see, this is where you would go for your breakfast in the morning. That's right, we get a free hot breakfast tomorrow. I'm excited. You can also come over here if you are looking to just chill a little bit, have a nice little workspace. I'm telling you what, I want 
that print. That print is absolutely incredible. Oh, perfect. They do have TV over here. They have some smaller tables for seating in the morning. And oh, they've got the fire going, which is right out there. They also have water that you can get throughout the day. Very important that you guys stay hydrated. It says Central Florida after all. And right on the other side of these doors is where you'll get your breakfast in the morning. They also do have complimentary coffee and it looks like hot water. So if you would rather have tea, they have those throughout the day. Love that. And just so that you are aware, complimentary breakfast Monday through Friday is from 6 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Saturday and Sunday, we get a little bit of a reprieve because it's from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. So we are gonna take advantage of that in the morning, aren't we? Yes. They always have good breakfast. Our room isn't quite ready yet, so we're gonna head back outside and see if we can't maybe find the pool, maybe the sports court, who knows what we're going to find? As you can see, they actually have a pretty nice and themed little pool right here. I really love this. I love that it has the little ledge on the side. Nick really likes sitting on the ledge, getting himself acclimated. It's his new favorite thing. And I don't know about you, Scott, but I am definitely going to take advantage of this spa later. Because, yeah. wow! That is absolutely huge. They also have some nice little beds over here. If they are available and you want to just lay out, get comfortable. I love that. As well as some tables and chairs with umbrellas because we are in Florida and it is going to get hot. Here's another view of the pool. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and Scott is saying that it does get to about five feet, so that's good to know. It's three feet over on the left hand side, so <laughs> I would not put it past him. If he didn't have his tennis shoes on, he probably would just dive in and wouldn't care. But definitely an A plus for a pool, especially if you're looking to just get the kids or the husband get some energy out and stuff so that they can uh, uh, sleep that night. This is a really great option. A lot of a uh, lot of places that we've been to, they, they really don't have nice big pools. But this one has a really nice big pool for you to be able to swim in. And I'm going to take full advantage of this here later on. So I agree. Weather permitting. Yeah, weather permitting. Check out this amazing fire pit area. Oh my goodness. That is impressive. It's really awesome because you got the, uh, the stonework and stuff over here in the back um, for like great big bench seats and stuff like that. So like if you want to do some, I guess maybe toasting some marshmallows, make some s'mores out here. Just curious if we can see any like remnants of it. Don't really see any, but, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. Um, I just love that it has the do not leave children unattended. <laughs> yeah. Because let's face it, Nick would be in that in a second. Yeah, he would be. Crazy goofball. Off to the side of the fire pit, they do have a very nice looking gas grill. And of course, Scott got all excited about it and wanted to check it out. So definitely something if you are interested in doing some grilling instead of going out and about. This might be a really great option for you. Now I have to say, this is something that I haven't seen at any hotel that we've been at recently in the past few years. I absolutely love that they have a small half basketball court right here so that your sports enthusiast kids can play. Because I know Christopher, back when he was living at home with us, he would have been like, Take me so I can get a basketball. I want a basketball. I want a basketball. And he would have been out here until people yelled at him to get out. 
and go to bed. Uh oh. <laughs> Nope, not at all. He is not the one that played basketball. Um, I also really like uh, that they do have a Tesla charging station right there, or an electric vehicle charging station. So if you are driving with an electric vehicle down here, this is a great option because you can actually charge your vehicle. Woohoo! Okay, so the one thing I really like is there's ample room for parking all the way around this whole building. Uh, you can see all these parking stalls here. It goes all the way around the front. All four sides of the building, you got parking all the way around it. And that's really a good thing because a lot of these newer um, hotels and stuff that you stay at, they don't have a lot of spots. So you kind of run out and then what do you do? So the nice thing is, is you definitely got plenty of room to be able to come out here and park and bring another vehicle if you had to. So. The other thing that I really like about that is the fact that you can actually park where your window is so you can keep an eye on your vehicle overnight. And that's not something that you can do in a lot of newer builds because there's one designated parking section and you hope for the best. So I like this. I like it a lot. Our first lizards of our trip. And they are big. There's the one right there, and then there's one hiding out on the tree. You can see them. I don't know if I've ever seen our lizards that big. Most of the time we just have the knolls. Okay, people, it's finally happened. Somebody's put me in the pie room. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've never been in pie before. So, uh, three is for the third floor, and then 14 is for room 14. Would you like to do the honors, my dear? Here we go. Wow. So this is a King Studio Suite. And oh, how sweet it is. <laughs> this is beautiful. As you can see, very, very nice kitchenette area. Looks like we've got a full pantry, which is really great if you're gonna do an extended stay here. Full size fridge, microwave, electric stove top which looks like it has two burners on it oh they even got us a pitcher but there's no tea wow well, we're gonna have to change that yes yes we are <laughs> um also a very nice size sink and dishwasher and an ice maker in here for you too love this there's also full-sized coffee maker if you're into that we confirmed today we are definitely not. <laughs> yeah, no, no coffee for us. I really like that they have this little nook right here with the two bar chairs so that you can sit and eat, as well as very, very nice couch with a little ottoman. And then I love, love, love this workspace. Plenty of room, it's overlooking the pool absolutely love that and look it has my name good afternoon Megan I love it that's so exciting oh is there oh my goodness we got real glasses and plates we drink some wine with those here we fancy apparently I love that toaster there's all your silverware that you need okay Oh, there we go. Oh, and a bottle opener. Yes. We always get annoyed when they give you wine glasses, but no bottle opener. Hey, Cool. What's in here? Pots and pans? Yeah, I got a couple pots and pans. Underneath, we'll have trash can, garbage disposal. Oh, very nice. And nice big dishwasher. Yeah, real nice. Love that. I like that. Very nice. That? Nice cutting board too. Uh huh. Slice up fresh Florida tomatoes. Ooh. Might have to find that. Now, I like that the bedroom is kind of separated. So, if we had Nick with us, we could close the door, have some privacy. It's just the two of us. We're not going to worry about it. But look at this giant king size bed in here. And also, a second TV. 
I love this. If I want to watch something and Scott wants to watch something tonight, guess what? He can watch whatever to his heart's content and I'll go in the other room and I'll watch something else. That never happens for us, so I love that. And then beautiful ensuite. I really like that they have the sink that's completely separate. I'm gonna turn the light on. Hey, everybody. Um, I really like that they have the sink completely separate from the toilet area so I can get ready while he's in the shower. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful mirror. Love yeah. this. So much space, so much room. And then here is the bathroom. Turn that on too. It's coming out very yellow. It's not yellow, it's more of a white. Uh, just a heads up, the lighting is a little funky. But it looks like they have the 39 degree north uh, bath products as well as a very nice shower head and a tub. So you got the nice shower tub combination. And oh yeah. There we go. Good stream, also it changes. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're getting Sorry. me wet. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Get out of the shower, then, if you don't want to get wet. <laughs> so, really, really like this. Very nice setup. Yeah. I think that'll do very well for us. Good exhaust fan. That helps. Oh, there's actually an exhaust fan. You know how much I love exhaust fans, and I don't know how many hotels nowadays don't have them, so I love that. And then standard toilet I don't think much needs to be said about that and then the iron. closet space nice mm -hmm. that's a big ironing board yeah iron ironing board there is a pillow and extra blankets and stuff up top because I'm sure that couch a is a pull out yeah. so this is nice how are you checking yourself out making sure you look good oh there you go <laughs> so absolutely love this i think it's a really great option and looking forward to checking out some more stuff all right scott's got the view up for us and check out that pool area oh my goodness this is very nice and then the resort next door as well so very pretty really like this a lot and something i want to see here Okay. That's good. That's a good safety feature. Plus, there's also plates right here. So okay. if they do come up, they're only going to go up so far. Oh, so okay, cool. That way it's, it ensures safety to make sure kids don't yeah. worry about the screen and fall out. So that's, I like that's that. Good, good safety feature. I like that a lot. Awesome. So Awesome. That's great. As you can see, they do have a standard house phone. But what I really like about both nightstands you get two power outlets, which are always helpful, but then you also get the USB for charging your devices. And I'm really starting to like that they have those in a lot of these newer hotels. So just wanted to point that out. What are you doing? Why are you staring at me? Because you're cute. That was scary. Okay. Oh crap. Scary. <laughs> Getting off. Get off the roof. Get off the roof. Get off the roof. Okay, so we found the guest laundry, which is on the fourth floor. All the way in the corner. And as you can see, pretty nice little laundry room. There is three units, which are... Okay, so we've got two commercial washers and two commercial dryers. And it is, um, you can use a card, it looks like. So that's really nice. And then there is soap and bleach and softeners over there in the... Yeah, the dryer sheets and soap. Yeah, so if you would need those, those you would need coins for. They're $1.25 each. But I love that they have washers and dryers because we all have those days, especially in Florida, when you get caught in a rainstorm oh, yes. and you need to dry your shoes or get some laundry done yep so glad that that's here 
We found the exercise room. It is on the ground floor, just off of the lobby. So right in here is the exercise room. And first off, I just want to appreciate the fact that they have all those towels out so that as you're exercising, you've got nice fresh towels to be able to use and wipe off the equipment. You don't see that in every hotel. Or every gym. Or every gym, exactly. So really nice weight machine right here. Lots of stuff to... <laughs> Not He's gonna hurt himself. All right, moving right along. Um, also have that nice bike right there, as well as the bane of my existence. I hate ellipticals. Give me a treadmill or a bike any day. And then there are some uh, weight balls, some exercise balls for fitness. Oh, he's too funny. And then they do have uh, your bench right here, which does roll, which is nice. And you can kind of see yourself. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, as you're working out, making sure that your form's in good shape. Uh, and then your free weights are right over here. So. <laughs> I'm done. Uh-huh. I also like that there is a TV in here so you can um, turn that on the remotes right there and watch what you want to watch especially if you're in here by yourself so um, I really like this uh, gym a lot actually um, the only thing I would want differently would be if it had an uh, upright exercise bike but I know I'm in the minority there so mm -hmm. but I like it I do too check out how beautiful that pool area is it's after 10 o'clock, so they have everything shut down. But they left the lights on and it's so beautiful. Oh, must have been the worker that was putting all of the umbrellas down. Well, this is a new form of bed test. This is the adult approved bed test. Yes, I think it feels very comfortable. It's very soft, nice pillows. Oh, I think I'm going to sleep. We're going to sleep really hard. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Huh? What? I can't do anything with this man. <laughs> Elroy says it's time for breakfast. Let's check it out. Well, Scott and I just finished up our breakfast and uh, I didn't get a ton of footage of the breakfast area. I mean, it's pretty much like any other hotel breakfast, but uh, very good food. I mean, scrambled yep. eggs and turkey bake or turkey sausage. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I had a spinach quiche, which was really good. That was a pleasant surprise. Yep. Uh, a lot of times those things are very dry and kind of, uh, yeah. this one was yeah. perfect. Uh, I like the fact that there was oatmeal. Mm -hmm. There's also hard boiled eggs. There was fruit. Uh, you know, there was all kinds of stuff that you could choose from bagels, yep. cereals. And cereals. I mean, and, and there's juices to drink, and there's hot coffee, and there's teas, hot teas. Um, yep. You know, all kinds of stuff, and really good breakfast bar. And I didn't even have to season my eggs at all because I thought they tasted. Yeah, they were really well. good. So, um, but got to enjoy breakfast out here. See, the reflection. <laughs> but yep. We'll show that to you in a second, but. Perfect Man, breakfast spot. Perfect breakfast spot. Beautiful breeze out here today. Just uh, very relaxing. I'm ready to stay here for life. <laughs> There's nothing quite like breakfast with a view. Well guys, unfortunately, this is going to have to end our Residence Inn by Marriott video here in Fort Canaveral. Yeah. Love, love, love this property. So, so fun. Yeah, we, uh, 
the staff here has been excellent with us. They've been great. They've treated us great. Um, we just got done eating breakfast around here on the back patio. Looking we at, don't want to leave. No, we're looking at palm trees. Bright, beautiful blue skies and white, and fluffy, white cloud. fluffy clouds. <laughs> fluffy clouds. Fluffy. Uh, but yeah, it's been a great stay. Uh, I had a wonderful sleep last night. I crashed hard yeah. in that bed. That was so relaxing. Um, it crashed on the couch too. So yeah. uh, the couches definitely very good for a good nap. Yeah. It was, oh wow. And then it just got up and <laughs> I went right to bed. So. But yeah, yeah, it can't, was... Can't recommend this place highly enough. Uh, yeah. Fantastic staff, great service, uh, nice clean rooms, uh, everything that you would want. Yeah. And uh, literally just minutes from your terminal. So yeah. I think and it's great. Unfortunately, last night we didn't get to enjoy the pool because it, there was lightning bouncing around all around us. And I just didn't feel like getting lit up last night. So... Yeah. <laughs> but the pool is beautiful. It was... Uh, it, I wish we had another day here so I could go enjoy it today, but unfortunately we got to move on to Just another. Just gonna have to come back and try it next time. Yeah, exactly, we'll have to come back. So, but anyway, um, I do also want to mention uh, they do have shuttle service. So if you mm -hmm. are going to be going over to the port and you would rather leave your vehicle here, they do offer a service for that where you can leave your vehicle here and then uh, you can have a uh, transport taking over to the terminal, which is fantastic. Pulling it out, you can see it right there in Megan's glasses. That's yep, it. Yep, somebody's out. going right now. So <laughs> yeah, there's what at 9:30 and at 12:30. Um, that's what the times are right now. But okay. definitely check with the hotel um, as to when and everything, because obviously uh, crew schedules they change almost daily. Yeah. yeah. So well, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know we've enjoyed making it for you guys. Uh, wanted to send out a very special thank you to all the staff here, yes. uh, especially the sales team here for uh, getting us here. And uh, Yes, thank you, Stephanie, and thank you, Autumn, for all of your emails prior to our visit. Yep. Uh, very much appreciated, and uh, this place is great. Yes. Looking forward to bringing yep. people here uh, in the future. We're going to be sending a lot of you guys to this place. Yes, we are. <laughs> so. With all that being said, uh, please, uh, if you like the video, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, that bell notification button so that you know when we upload new videos. Mm -hmm. And as always, are you guys ready for your next Plum Crazy Adventure? Because we're ready to get you here in a place where I don't want to leave. Yep. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.